Good evening. Thank you all for joining us for worship tonight as we share in our midweek Advent service of Holden Evening Prayer. As we begin our service, I want to say thank you to Marty Hagen for writing this beautiful music and for giving us this gift of music that, that we get to share in during this season. Um, I also want to say thank you to Mike and to Amy for leading us in the singing tonight and to Mark for leading us on the piano. This evening on this third week of Advent, um, our reflections are uh, written and shared by Pastor Angie Storr. Um, so a special thank you to Pastor Angie for leading us in the prayers and the reflection tonight. As we begin our service, I invite you to share a moment of silence with me that we might prepare our hearts and our minds for worship. Christ, you are the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness, and shine within your people here. And you are the light. 
God is incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Our scripture for this evening comes from the first chapter of Luke. It is part of Mary's song known as the Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is his name. When we hear the story of Gabriel coming to Mary, announcing the good news that she is going to bear a son who is the Messiah, Mary rushes off to share this good news with Elizabeth. Mary's joy is almost tangible as she shares this news and together she and Elizabeth anticipate the birth of their children. Mary's joy erupts in a song known today as the Magnificat which begins with her naming the joy within her because God has blessed her so richly. This song has served as a foundation for popular songs like Canticle of the Turning and is sung as part of our evening prayer this evening. It is surprising that her song has so little to do with the birth of her child, but focuses instead on God's great faithfulness and the ways the birth of this Messiah will radically change the world. The hungry will be fed, the rich sent away empty. The mighty will be cast down from their thrones, and the lowly will be uplifted. Mary's song shows that she understands the larger picture of which she now plays a part. The birth of her son will fundamentally change the world and reveal God's power and might in new ways. Our Christmas joy doesn't stem only from the birth of the Messiah. Our Christmas joy comes from the amazing news that everything in this world is being made new. God's transformative work is happening every day, and we are called to witness to that redeeming love. Our reflection questions for today. How are you experiencing Christmas joy this year? 
And what is hindering your ability to feel joy? You were invited to contemplate the entirety of the Magnificat as we sing it and reflect how is your joy similar to Mary's this Advent and how is your joy different? And then at the conclusion of our worship service, you were invited to think of someone who might need help finding joy this Advent and you're encouraged to send them a card or a gift or give them a phone call to help brighten their day. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. Said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am. Servant of my God, I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here, and blessed me. Those 
to labor and service to others. God of mercy, hold us in love. Grant weather that nourishes all of creation. God of mercy, hold us in love. Keep watch on our loved ones and keep us from danger. God of in your mercy. God of mercy, hold us in love. Help us, comfort us all of our days. Keep us, hold us, gracious God. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life. Give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. 